Hello everybody, my, my name is Gustavo Malinger, I'm speaking from Israel, uh, and I, I am willing to, to relate my experience uh, about teaching neurosonography during the times of COVID. Uh, as uh, for me, as for most probably most of us, uh, the COVID, the COVID uh, pandemics represent uh, a very, very frightening, uh, but interesting experience of how how we react in the, in this in these difficult times uh, as physicians uh, we were not uh, we, we we were not quarantined and, and we have the possibility to move on to continue our working so we were we were relatively relatively uh, have relatively good luck uh, but one one of the problems that uh, I, I realized quite uh, quite fastly is that that uh, how we will continue teaching. We will continue. We will be able to continue teaching our patients, uh, studying. But to teach uh, in this condition was, uh, in, in the opinion of, of most of us, impossible. Uh, thinking and based on my pre my previous experience with, with the Opus. Evolution uh, Opus system. I I contact uh, my friends, uh, uh, particularly Gustavo Gustavo Abella, and uh, we start preparing a course uh, that that we, will be based on uh, the use of uh, Opus. Uh, but the the main problem was how how to how to let our the participants have the possibility to do. Uh, the, the 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 simulations by themselves using our cases, and uh, quite fastly we understand that we will need to send this uh, the, the 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 system uh, one by one to all the participants. Uh, they will need to make arrangements regarding the connection uh, through the internet, uh, and uh, after that we will be able to to do this. Uh, to do this course with these courses without uh, much problem. That in the first course they, they were for many countries, including Australia, India, uh, Italy, Spain, and and also and also uh, countries in in South America. Uh, we organized the co the course, but based based in our master class that we were. We were we did we, we did and we organized it previously, and uh, start start doing start doing the work without without much much need of preparation or very complicated uh, installations. No, no, I think it's a little bit more, more superior and to the posterior, the poecogenic yeah. one, okay. anterior to the choroid plexus. Here, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, perfect, perfect. This is the ganglionic eminence. Okay. Now, make, I know these are the coronals. These are the coronals, yes. Yes, but they're, they're supposed to see, well, because I do not forget what I saw, I I read. It was supposed to see the corpus callosum, is that so, is possible? You need to rotate. After you obtain the image, the image you need to rotate to one side. And you yeah, go but... from left to right. If you go from left to right after you rotate, you have the coronal. The reaction of the participants were exceptionally good. Uh, they like very much the possibility to have in the same in the same class in the same course also the possibility to exercise themselves and to uh, and to learn uh, the theoretic the theoretical aspects of neurosonography. Uh, the uh, their comments later on, later on uh, were without exception that they li like and enjoy very much uh, the course. To say that it's my first time using the the Olu Fraser. It was a really good experience for the course or for any other thing because you know. You can put your own volume. 
you can do your own work and you want to teach, you, have, you need to teach someone, you can do that by yourself. And since then, uh, we organized another one, again, with the same, with the same results. Uh, and the people have, the, again, the opportunity to, to see and to work in these cases that are, in many cases, very, very, very rare. And, the, and most, of the, most of the people working in the field will not have the opportunity to see, to see them uh, very frequently. Uh, finally, after, after the, the, the pandemic ends or is about to end, I have recently the opportunity to travel to India and and to have and to have a similar course, but this this time in vivo with with twenty five participants. And again, was very nice uh, to see how very fast in, in a few minutes everyone is working with the system, is doing the examinations, and uh, being able to ask questions and to see how difficult sometimes can be to recognize uh, these conditions. So I think that. Uh, like um, like uh, in a more in the time of cholera, uh, we were able to teach neurosonography in the times of COVID. Thank you very much.